As for you speaking, man, how, how are you situated right now at this point in your career? How, how do you feel about your position, just even outside the ring, man? Because when we last talked, you told me that, you know, you, you were going down the, the same path you yeah. started with in the, and now you're back. Yeah, and I'm like, right now I'm kind of like, do I want to box still? I don't know, you know what I'm saying? I'm still thinking about it. I'm going to go back. Why, why, I'm going to go back that, to the gym. Why is that even a thought? Like, why is that even a thought? Why is that a question? Why, why does that come up? Because uh, I'm the type of person that... Uh, that is open to anything. There's other opportunities come my way yeah. that could take me far with my family. I'm gonna take advantage of those opportunities because yeah. opportunities don't come often yeah, yeah. and you could lose the opportunities you have now. So take advantage of the opportunities that you yeah. give, they're given to you. Sometimes you just wanna wait. If I wait on this for something to happen on this, then, yeah, yeah. then you know what I mean? My, I, I, big possibilities, you know what I mean? And there's possibilities, nothing can happen. Look how many fighters, you know, wasted so much time and they didn't do anything. There are so many fighters that did do something and they still, and they ain't nothing now, you feel me? Yeah. I just wanna be a smart person, you know, boxing. If it comes down with boxing, the opportunity plays out and uh, I'll get a big opportunity to, you know, World Championship, whatever, yeah. then let it be. And if it doesn't, then I'm still gonna keep doing me and I'm gonna keep surviving. I'm gonna keep uh, living, doing good with my family. I'm part of my life right now that I'm happy. I've been spending more time with my kids and my wife than I usually do, you know, more than I usually do. And uh, it's something that I'm appreciating now. And, uh, and I've been going to the gym. I've been going to gyms to help out, you know, fellow kids. fellow kids from here from the city yeah. that are trying to box. So for instance, today I'm going to Garden Grove with my home, my little homies in the spa. He actually named me a box before. He just told me, Speedy, I want to box. Yeah. I bet you I could beat anybody up in there. I said, well, really? You think so? All right. So we took him to Hawaiian Garden. Nobody wanted to spar him in Hawaiian Garden. So, that, so they told him they're going to take him to the Garden Grove. I told him, what's up, man? I like that. You know, yeah, I like yeah, that. Yeah. You you know that they're fighting. Like, I don't care. Yeah, yeah. I bet you I'll be, able to get, I'll be able to put hands on him. Like, All right, I want to see. It's not as easy as it seems, but but, <laughs> but you know what I mean. He's gonna learn that it's not yeah, that easy. It's not, it's not. So I'm gonna let him get in there. I, I'm sure he's yeah. yeah he might surprise he's gonna do his thing, but he's you gonna know what? Yeah. I've took him to go spar before yeah. one time with this dude that had been boxing for like already a year. Yeah. No fight, just been in the gym for a year. <laughs> My boy put hands on him, stopped him like in two rounds. Yeah. He ain't never boxed before. He just know how to fight, and he ain't afraid of nobody. It's a lot of things these boxers need nowadays. I don't know, be picking and choosing and you know all that gay shit. Yeah.